Hello, I'm Vivian McGrath from VivianMcGrath.com and today I'm going to talk about shame, inner shame and how it affects your life but how you can release yourself from it. I recently met a, a really lovely young trans man and when I first met him, his body language was, was very like this. And I was on a panel speaking. Uh, I'm part of this fellowship where I'm mentoring some of the young fellows. And he was one of those fellows. And I was talking on this panel. And I could see his body language was like, was like that. And at the end of our panel discussion, he asked lots and lots of questions. And a lot of it was about shame and fear and he was very afraid of telling his parents and his family who he really was that he was born into a female body but identified identified as male and while he was very um comfortable with who he was. He was very fearful of how other people would respond and react to him. And this is what I said. I said, live true to who you are. Really live true to, don't live your life second guessing what you think others are thinking. Worrying about how you think other people will judge you or what you think they're going to say or how you think they're going to react to you. You can't control that. The best you can do is let go of all that and just be true to who you really are. Because if they can see your true, confident, empowered, authentic self shining out from within you, then they will accept you for who you are. And if they don't, well then that's their problem, not yours. They don't matter. Don't have those people in your life. And I said to him, if I was your mother and you came to me and said that this is what makes me happy, this is who I really am, then I would say I love you for that because all a mother or father wants is for their child to be true to who they are, comfortable in their skin, happy, self-assured and full of self-worth. But you know, it's so often that we run our lives based on this inner shame and always worrying what other people are going to think, always um, second-guessing ourselves. And that's quite often why we people-please, because we want to stop people seeing who we really are. And very often what we do to hide from ourselves, because sometimes we don't even know that there is shame deep inside us, what we feel is just this gut feeling that we don't belong, that we don't quite fit in, or we have this inner voice that is critical all the time. Now that inner voice is the voice of shame. And what we do sometimes is we overeat, we drink too much, we take drugs, or we focus on rescuing other people who we think are more damaged than we are. Because if we're fixing them and solving their problems, then we don't have to realize that we need rescuing ourselves. We don't have to face our own inner shame. The other thing I said to that trans man and, and the, all of the fellows that I was talking on that panel at is that, you know, Brené Brown, if you haven't watched her talk on YouTube, it's unbelievable, her TED Talk. She says, when you look at other people's expressing their shame, their vulnerability, revealing their vulnerability and their stories. You don't look at them with shame. You see them as having courage. But when you look at your own story and your own vulnerability and your own shame, 
you see that as shame. You don't see that as courage. You see that as shame. But if you owned that story and if you, if you weren't afraid of vulnerability and speaking your truth to others, they would look to you as courage, as courageous. They would say, wow, that's really a lot of courage to reveal that vulnerability and share that. And you know, if we all get in touch with that vulnerable part of us, that part that we feel shameful about, and face it, overcome those fears to face it, it actually is not as frightening as you think. You know, all those avoidance techniques of overeating, going into uh, being a workaholic, going into bad relationships because we can focus on everything else but ourselves. That's just a distraction technique we use because we don't want to feel the pain. If we don't keep um, distracting ourselves, then that shame surfaces and it frightens us. Those feelings frighten us. Face that shame. Let it wash up. Let it come out. Because if you suppress that shame, it's never going to go away. It's just going to eat at you inside. Let that come out. Find your everyday courage to feel those emotions. Allow them to come out and own your story by telling yourself those shameful things that you feel about yourself, in a way they're, they're overtaking your sense of self-worth. Your self-worth is now being hijacked by that feeling of shame. So your feeling of shame is now saying to you that your self-worth depends on what other people think of you, how they're going to judge you, what they're going to say to you, how they're going to react to you. Now, that is not a way to live. So what you need to do is to stop shame hijacking your sense of self-worth, is to tell yourself these parts of me that have come from all the things in my life I have experienced, the challenges I've faced, they're not shameful. They're just the journey that I have gone on that have made me who I am today. It's okay to feel sad, lonely, angry. It's okay to um, confront those mistakes that I've made. It doesn't mean you need to feel shame. Find courage to face those and then tell yourself that it is not shame. And all those things your voice is telling you in your head that you think are shameful is just not true. Your self-worth doesn't depend on who you love, what your job is, what you do, what you say. Your self-worth depends on you saying that who I am is not shameful. I am a good person, a lovable person, a kind person, a great friend. I have talents. I have ability. I have a purpose in this world. You you matter. Your dreams matter. But if you live your life always thinking, worrying, sec second-guessing what other people are going to think and hiding away in shame, then you're going to never become that beautiful, unique, incredible person that you are with that amazing message. You, the world needs you to share. We want to hear you know, that trans man has a beautiful message to share with the world about finding every day courage to become true to who you are. So try today to say to yourself, there's nothing to be ashamed of and find your everyday courage to go and challenge that script in your head that says that you should worry about what everybody else thinks. Forget them. Live your life true to who you are. And when your light shines out, 
the people who matter will gravitate to you like moths to a flame and those who don't really care about you well then they don't matter let them go so i hope that's helped if you like as i always say please click the like button subscribe and share so that you can keep getting my videos every week and you can tell other people who might be struggling with a sense of shame that today is the day that they can become who they really are. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.